Hi, I'm Melissa Bonney from The Designery and this is our creative director Margot Reid and we are here at our latest project, Casa del Abre. It means home in the trees or house of trees. We are so excited to show you everything before we start. Let's go take a look. So I'm extra excited because We've done all the plans and we're up to getting engineering and geotech and all those goody things done. But Margot, who lives in Noosa, actually hasn't seen the house. So this is the first time. I love it. I'm very excited. I, I know. know. What about the red door? I'm not know. loving that. <laughs> Look, there's definitely some things we can work on. <laughs> I know. Let's go. So the house is completely empty. I apologise if it's a little echoey, but it is empty. And this is the first time we've really been able to walk through it. I've seen it. What do you think? It's pretty amazing. I'm loving all the green, all the natural light. Yeah. This ceiling. Ooh, yeah, so the fun. ceilings are really giving us something to work with. And I think that's actually what made it a really interesting proposition from a property you know, project. And yeah, it's got a really good floor plan. And we're really just planning on tweaking the current floor plan a little bit but we're doing some big work. We're actually excavating under the house and we're extending out pool, gardens. We're doing all of it. A proper designery job. <laughs> it is, end to end. Let's take a look. So, we'll start with the bedrooms. We've got one little bedroom here. And one of the things that I'm loving, I don't know about you, and I really want to keep this, are all these louvered doors. So yeah, I love them. Yeah. They're so classic and to give them a little paint, new knobs. New yeah. handles. Yeah. yeah. And I love it. I don't want to redo every surface. We've got, we're on a budget, so we do need to kind of keep some things, but this is a really cool element. Mm. And I actually love how the door, entry door is in the same finish. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's got some nice character. Now we've just got to find more of these because I don't think all the rooms have them. Marketplace? Marketplace, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> So all right, we happen to be beside the kitchen. Let's talk about this kitchen. One of the things I don't <laughs> like about this house is that that's the north. So we've just walked in on the southern side. They've literally got all of this amenity on the northern side. So it's blocking all of your northern light, uh, which is an absolute no-no, of course, in design. So the plans, as you know, are basically opening up this side so that we can capture that northern light. But you know, you can, you can see the potential for it because we've got these big ceilings and there are a lot of windows, so it is quite light already, but mm. I can't even imagine by the time we get a few skylights in here and open that side up. It's gonna be huge. Yeah. <laughs> but do you think we should keep the red kitchen? Oh, glossy black and red, it's so timeless. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not keeping that. That's gotta go. Uh, and then of course, all of this is coming out. We do have a few structural things going on. You can see the massive ridge beam on the ceiling. We've got a bit of a point load here. So we're actually incorporating that into the design. Um, you'll see that'll take shape later, but we're gonna be keeping a little bit of this corner so that we can build some joinery in and not have to do major engineering up here because there's a lot of engineering downstairs. So this is all coming out, but again, you know, these doors, how good. So lucky. Super I love these features that are existing. Yeah, there's some good bits. Not so good bits, but there's some good bits. <laughs> so that purple room will be gone. We're going to be putting in another bedroom here. We've got a new entry mudroom coming through here, which will, in this new opened up space, bring all of that light straight through from the north because that's all going through to that rumpus room. That's going to be so beautiful. Yeah. Love that. And then we've got the stairs going downstairs here. So this whole area will just feel really open from the new front door the whole way through. And I did end up putting that study in, remember? Oh, I love that. Yeah, That's so a little nook. it is a nook and you know, we love a nook. You don't necessarily need a big office, but after COVID, we all know you need a bit of a study, a bit of a home office if you have to have one. Yeah. So we've got that in there. And then we've got the main bathroom. One of our issues, and I don't quite know how to solve it yet, is that these bathrooms are actually pretty good. Yeah. And with a few new fixtures and lights, maybe they could be good. I want to know what you think. They're actually really tidy. They're really clean. Like They actually look like they've been done quite well. The concrete finish, I, I love. I mean, yeah. we love a concrete floor. We do. <laughs> we do love a concrete floor. 
and even the um, the timber it's quite beautiful timber I mean it's not what we probably would have chosen but maybe we can work with that yeah so does this bathroom stay here remind me so this is the one that's turning into the master ensuite. So this is currently the main bathroom, but we're flipping the floor plan quite significantly. So this will become the ensuite. Mm. So where that toilet is will become the hallway through to the main bedroom. Yeah. And we're gonna bring that toilet in onto this wall. Yeah. Nice. I think there's room. There's heaps of room in here. And they've got a cavity slider already, saves the space from a swing door. I think it's good. I do too. I love the timber accents. Don't love the tile trim. But don't love the tile you know, trim. We don't love the tile trim. <laughs> but you've really got to see the one bathroom we will have to demolish. It's just as amazing as that one in terms of the finishes, but it's got a special feature. Ooh. Come take a look. <laughs> so this is the current master and it's pretty tiny and I feel like for a house in Byron, we're creating a big, beautiful family home. This is just way too small. Yeah. So this master bedroom is actually gonna turn into the robe. And remember we oh, tucked nice. the new master running almost six meters long oh, and about three and a half meters wide. That will be facing north. Oh my gosh, and this view. Yeah, Beautiful. you haven't seen the view yet, but <laughs> check out those trees. So good. And because you're raised into it, you're just in those trees. Yeah, um, it's, it's like beautiful. a tree house. Yeah. Casa de Labras. Casa de Labras. So this is all going, you know, this is nice, but it's not our thing. So that's going to go. But, um, <clears throat> oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean, it's cool. <laughs> what to do with this beautiful mural? I don't know. <laughs> Someone loved it. A lot of care went into that. It is. You have to be exactly. passionate about cockatoo. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, this is going because one of the other things that I don't love about this house is they've actually stolen this space, which would have been the original garage. Oh, wow. Um, and we can tell that because underneath, structurally, it's all got the concrete slab underneath. So this would have been the original garage. And I just don't think you can have a five bedroom home without a garage. Even you'd at least need a carport. Totally. Yeah. And we've got that steep Incline. incline coming yeah, in so, so work. I think changing this back to a garage is huge everyone needs storage everyone needs to park their car somewhere that totally a great idea yeah good all right great we've still got time to tweak these plans too so <laughs> if something doesn't work we'll change it so this is where we're going to be putting that extension Beautiful. so we're extending this upper level this will become a rumpus room we're going to be adding another bedroom where that kitchen was and a linen and another bathroom i think yes so when you come through you'll have the stairs going downstairs and a hallway coming through to this rumpus room wow yeah it's going to be so special so oh, special it just feels so nice out here yeah i really love it it really does and of course then we've got the master which is sitting on the other side so they're both facing north Let's go downstairs so we can have a look at what we've got to do down there. So you can see, even as we're walking down, you're completely surrounded by greenery here. We've got these incredible paper barks. There's about seven of them on site. There's a few out the front as well. It's quite extraordinary, but loads and loads of palms. So the existing landscaping is actually really amazing. There's some incredible plants to work with. I know, but. Mm, there's always a but. <laughs> I actually just spoke to Adam Robinson yesterday. Oh my gosh. Adam Robinson Sweet Design. Adam. He is going to come and do all the landscaping with us. So what I'm really excited oh about is gosh. this now becomes this incredible end-to-end -end indoor outdoor story and we can show you really how to transform everything from the front fence to the back fence. I can't wait to see what he comes up with. I know, he's very <laughs> clever. So as we come down here, you can see there's already about two metres to ground level and we're on a sloping site. So there was a real opportunity rather than take up the whole site with an extension to actually excavate, go back a little bit so that we're not using up all of this land. So I think it's about 670 square metres this site, which is actually a really big site um, to be working with, which is great. But yeah, we wanted to make the most of the backyard um, and we're going to do the pool. Still got to work out what we're doing with that, but... Where's that going to go? Down here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that will be, you know, in that rear part of the yard, you're going to get the sun both ends of the day. It's 
so nice. We're so lucky to have that northern aspect. Yeah, it yeah. really is. It's and gold. The when coverage you're... of the trees at the moment down here just feels like a little magic enchanted. It does, area. doesn't it? I mean, it's yeah. 30 degrees today and it's got this beautiful breeze. Mm. Yeah, we're very lucky. Some of them do have to go though, so we'll talk about that. Uh, so under here, we are excavating back about three and a half metres and that whole undercroft area, that's where the engineering's coming in because we're having to essentially excavate. We're going to be running new footings and new uh, block walls basically on the inside of that to keep the existing house stable and then we'll be renovating from there. So it's going backwards to create the living room, which will actually extend out here a little bit and then lead on to the dining room, which will have an incredible bench seat. We might even walk down there. So remember I kept going on about the trees and how I wanted that kitchen looking out at the trees. Now I understand. These are the trees. Wow. Oh so gosh. yeah, so this will be your kitchen standing here and massive windows in the kitchen, looking out at those beautiful trees and bench seat oh. so you can sit there, morning cup of tea. I can see so many little nooks and areas that you're just going to want to spend your space and time in. Yes, yeah, I think yeah. so too. So then we've got the lounge, which is going to be flowing onto the dining. Mm -hmm. So that's tucked up in there. And then you've got kitchen down here. It's all stepping down because we're trying to follow the lay of the land down and, you know, follow the block. It that. also helps with that Balkan scale. Mm -hmm. You don't want, you know, a really tall house blocking light to your neighbours and things like that. So we've stepped the building down and I think it helps as well with that indoor-outdoor connection. I was going to say I love that it connects down to this lower level and it's like you're encompassed by the greenery, whereas up in the other level you're encompassed by the treetops. So it yes. actually gives like a totally different environment. Yeah, it? different feeling when you're down yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. And I think those, again, that landscaping that Adam comes up with, that will be really important yeah. down here. Yeah. And great. so, yeah, off the kitchen's that deck, mm -hmm. the entertaining deck, you've got your dining up there. And I was thinking about the doors and the, sorry, opening windows, the bifold windows that we did at Samudra. Oh yes, I love them. Yeah, that'll be amazing. Just like open it up, this beautiful breeze that we're feeling today will come in. That'll be gorgeous. Yeah, and then it's perfect for that indoor-outdoor entertaining. You've got your outdoor deck, indoor dining, yeah. big gatherings. Love that. Yeah, love yeah. that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? So we've also got, this is a really exciting little bit. One of the things in Byron is, and probably everywhere really, is we're starting to move to that place where you might have adult kids living at home or you want a home in income. So having a little self-contained space becomes really important. And we've got a really great opportunity here because we've got good offset from the boundary. So there's about two meters on both sides of the house to the boundary, which is usually, you know, it's pretty rare. It's pretty rare <laughs> to get that much. So we're actually utilizing that. And on the north western side of the house, we're actually creating a little self-contained apartment. You can access it from the side. We'll have it fenced off. So it could be something to rent out or it's got a little secret door that comes through to the laundry and they can be connected to the house and it's perfect for your adult children. That's amazing. Yeah. It'll be such a little, great little nook to have. Yeah. Yeah, I think it adds something. It could be a guest room. Yeah, you've always got family coming to stay and, you know, it's Byron. <laughs> it's Byron. Everyone wants to come here. So that is what the plans look like. Wow. I know. Being here is so different to looking at the plans. I mean, obviously that's always going to be the case, but it's just... The feeling of this space, the trees, the breeze, it's all oh, so much to see, so, so much, much to see come to life. I can't wait. Well, we've got one small problem. Oh. <laughs> I don't have a concept small. yet. <laughs> yes, we are yes. working on this. Margot's <laughs> aware of that as creative director. She's usually in charge of concepts for us and we don't have one. So we started with the plans because the planning was a bit tricky with all the excavation and, and extension. But now we've really got to work out what this is going to look like. Is it white? Is it black? Is it timber? What are we doing? Is it mid-century? Is it beach? What, what are we doing? I know. Seeing all these greens definitely has that natural feel to it, but... I don't know. I know. What do you guys think? You've yeah. seen the house now. You kind of know what we're doing. We'd love to hear from you. We are legitimately stuck. We actually <laughs> haven't started the concept. <laughs> anyway. Thank you for joining us. We definitely want to hear from you about 
what you want to see here. Yeah. Um, we are going to be taking you on the journey as we always do. We're going to show you the whole build process. This time we're going to be adding in the design process. So we'll take you through how we came up with the solutions that we did. And then obviously, once you guys decide our concept, we will- <laughs> Bring it to life. <laughs> bring it to life. And we will do all the selections and we'll, we'll bring you along for that journey too. Yeah, it's going to be very exciting. Yeah. So thanks for joining us. We will see you soon. Thank you.